I'll be using the hoops that I got from the Dollar Tree to give me the illusion of a vase. This is a bit too wide for me, so I'm going to cut out at least 4 inches off of each and every one of the cutout pieces. I'm making a standing shelf, so I'm going to have something strong in the middle. And I'll be using this leftover piece that I have from another project. It's already white, so I'm just going to keep that aside. And then I took the hoops that I had cut and spray painted them all gold. I'm now going to go ahead to attach them together using duct tape. The shelving that's going to be attached to the wood that's in the middle and the hoops will also be a leftover from another project. I mark down the sizes of the shelves that I will need for the design and then I cut them using a handsaw. These are smaller pieces that I have for the shelving and one is going to be at the top and one is going to be at the bottom. Now I'm going to be attaching it to the hoop, to the wood, and to the other hoop, so that it stays firm and sturdy. The wood and the hoop pieces are thick, so I'll be using these screws to attach them to the shelves. I turn the hoops over before attaching the screws to them. And then when I was done, I turned it back. This is how the first shelf is going to be attached to it, so now I have to turn everything over to make it easy for me to attach them together. I'll be repeating the same thing to the bottom part. Now I'm gonna go ahead and install the other shelves. This is a smaller one that's going to come somewhere here and then the longer ones are going to be at the bottom. I needed an extra wood and the piece that I was working on that was a leftover was finished. So I'm going to try and see if this Dollar Tree plaque can work here.
I was supposed to put the Dollar Tree plaque here, but as I was doing it, I realized that it was kind of wide and I needed something thin. So because of that, I'm going to go ahead and use two leftover pieces that I have. These are wood pieces. I'm going to join them together and then use them as a singular shelf. For the base, I'm going to be using an actual base of a flower pot. I got this flower pot base a long time ago. It has been laying around in the house doing nothing. So now I'm going to use it for this project. And then I'm going to trace out the shape of the wood that I have in the middle. And I did this before starting with the project. And then at the bottom, I need to hold it together to make sure that the wood stays strong and sturdy inside. So because of that, I'm going to be using a cake platter. And then this cake platter is really thick and I will trace out the shape on the cake platter, carve out the hole and then glue it at the back. It has to fit in a snug way. And when I was done, it took me a while to have the wood go in and come out. It was too tight, but I prefer that to be the case versus it being too loose. I'll be inserting what I made inside. And because this is going to be a gift to someone, she may want to hang it on the wall. So I'm not going to glue it to the base so that it can be versatile. She can take it out and mount it on the wall as well. This is what the back looks like and it's so firm and so sturdy. I'm really impressed with how balanced this turned out. Now this is what it looks like. Quite simple and I love the way it's so unique. I noticed that the hoops were kind of long at the top so I'm going to be reducing the length just a bit. The bottom didn't really blend in Roll to the outer vase look. So because of that, I spray painted the bottom gold to go with the golden hoops. I cover the openings that's on the hoops with gems. And then I use this golden chain as the lip for the vase. I then added gold trim to the edges of the shelves. I really love how this turned out. And if you are interested in other hoop DIYs, I'm gonna leave them down in the description box below. They were all interesting hula hoop DIYs and they were all pretty easy to make. Thank you all so much for watching. Now I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button.